Hi friends and welcome to my new video. In this one I'll show you how to do Pokemon Go spoofing on your iOS device and this one will show you how to change your GPS with the joystick, map, teleportation, all the features uh, will work on any iOS device that means iPhones or iPads. Make sure you watch the full video, I'll show you how to download it, how to install it, how to enable certain features but make sure you stay till the end and let's get into it. Okay guys, so now let me show you how to download the hack for Pokemon Go and this is what you need to do. It will work on any iPhone or iPad. You just have to watch the full video and then repeat the steps that you see in this tutorial. And this is what you need to do. The first step is for iPhone users only. So if you have an iPad, you don't have to do anything. Though if you do have an iPhone, go into your settings, scroll down till you see home screen group of settings just a little bit uh, down the list. It's right here, home screen, uh, click on it and make sure that showing app library is enabled. This setting right here, if you find it grayed out, turn on show in app library and we are good to go. So now to download the spoofer, open your browser and go to this website that signs the apps uh, for you so you don't have to use a computer and you'll get no revokes. Uh, the only thing you'll have to do is you might have to re-download the spoofer uh, if the Pokemon Go updates because that happens like every few weeks. Anyways, this is the website. It's app library right here. Open it up. And when it loads up the... the uh, without you know scrolling just type in the search bar uh, spoofer and it will pop up it says Pokemon Go spoofer uh, click the download Pokemon Go spoofer with joystick teleport and other features uh, it actually has a lot of features I'm not surprised they didn't list uh, everything here uh, just click on the app icon and click download now give it a few seconds, it will check if your device is compatible with the spoofer and it should be, so you don't have to do anything here. Uh, you can have the spoofer and Pokemon Go two apps installed separately if that's what you want, uh, but you can also do it like me. I don't have Pokemon Go installed, I'll just download it from here. And this is the final step guys, don't skip it. We have to complete device verification by completing three free offers from the list below. After that, the Pokemon Go spoofer will start downloading automatically. So this is what I'll do. I'll complete three offers from here and it will take me like two to three minutes. So I'll show you how to do it. Uh, I'll start with this offer right here. Facts from iPhone. It says follow the instructions on the next page. So as long as you follow the instructions, you'll have no problem uh, completing, no problems completing the device verification. So now I have to tap on the app store below, search app store below. Uh, you'll be taking the search piece. Type free facts, find an app. Okay, so I have to search for something and find the app and then I have to install it and open it. Okay, so I think I complete this offer in like 20 seconds. Let's see. I type in free facts like this. Find the app, that's the one and I have to open it, so. Okay, and it finished downloading, now I'll open it, and that is one part of the device verification completed. Now, it took a little bit longer than 20 seconds, but I have a slow internet uh, today for some reason. Anyways, after I complete one offer, I'll go complete two more offers, and I'll see you guys in a few seconds. Okay guys, so I just finished the device verification. Now it took me longer than three minutes, but my internet absolutely sucks today. Anyways, after you complete all three offers, go back to the browser because that will start the download uh, process for the spoofer. And if it doesn't start automatically, don't worry, just click the refresh button and then it will. Now, if I go back to my home screen, you can see I have the Pokemon Go spoofer and that's the hack right here. And it will not get you banned because it looks just like the regular Pokemon Go with the spoofing library installed over it. So the, uh, you'll not get any warnings or uh, bans from using this one. So now I'll just go and show you some features. As you can see, I have the spoofer right here. 
Now what I'll do is I'll enter my age and enter some random age and then sign in real quick because of course it's the first time I downloaded the app and I have to sign in. There we go. Now I'll go and copy my password from the notes. So give me a second. Okay, let's sign in. Wait, I don't think I closed the window. There we go. Okay, now my password is gone. Good. And now I'll show you how to use the uh, Pokemon Go hack for any iOS device. And it really doesn't matter um, what features you're looking for because this woofer has it all uh, covered. Now, let me show you. Now, the most important feature, of course, will be the joystick. We don't have it at the moment. Go into the settings, scroll all the way down, and joystick, dynamic, static, turn it on, and we are good to go. But the speed will be really slow at first. Don't worry. Go back to the settings, and this time, click on speed. Click on it and turn it on a little bit. Now the speed will be way, way quicker. And you can also go to the map for teleporting or you can click hold and click auto walk. That will automatically walk you there. Uh, if you want to stop walking for any reason, click the pause button right here. Uh, you can also teleport, hold your finger and click teleport. Just like that. You also have sniping, uh, clearing inventory, a random route, a lot of features right here. If you want, you can pa pause the video. But guys, I hope you enjoy this very easy tutorial on how to do spoofing in Pokemon Go. And as far as I know, this is the only Pokemon Go hack that doesn't get you banned. So guys, please leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.